What's going on guys? Thanks for tuning in. Today we have another Forza-thon going on for this weekend and you can actually win some pretty cool things. You can win three different cars and three win or wheel spins as well. So today basically what I want to do is I want to show you what you have to do to win all these. Most of them are pretty straightforward but I thought it'd be cool to make a little video. So for the very first one basically what you have to do is you have to jump into a online a bunch of online races it's asking for you to compete in three different ones so what i've done is i've literally just jumped into the drag races and i've done three of them just to kind of keep my time at a minimum and basically just win the car i don't really need the car the car i'm not too sure what it is it's a race car uh, made by ford of somewhat but basically, I'm just going up and down this drag strip a couple times in an online race. You don't even have to win, just compete in it. Um, or you can do a circuit, it, it, it's totally up to you. It depends what you wanna do. But as you can see, I just did three different drag races. And in a moment, you'll see that I got the notification saying I won the car. You also get some XP and credits while you do it. So there you go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump into uh, my showroom, check out what the car is because I still don't know what it is, but um, check it out and show you guys a little bit about it. And uh, if you like it, then yeah, definitely take the couple minutes to do the drag races or do the circuit races and win yourself a nice car. I think it's only going to be available for this weekend, but of course you can buy it from the auction house. So it's actually looking pretty sweet too. It's nice green, kind of looks like a Ford Fusion but it's the Falcon. It's Falcon, I forget the name of it, but uh, it was on the screen earlier. Uh, so really nice, I'm doing a circle for you guys to see all the angles. I'll check out what opens, just the doors open. And it's actually kind of cool too, because I noticed it's just a uh, right-handed drive car. So we're gonna jump into this, and nothing on the door panels. I guess you don't really need anything when it's a race car. Sweet looking steering wheel. And then in the center, we got our shifter and a bunch of buttons. I have no clue what <laughs> they are or what they do. So overall, I like it. I'm glad I did it. Looks pretty cool. Probably won't use it much, um, but it's cool just to have it. So with that being said, we'll jump into number two. Number two is uh, basically what you have to do. It's for the Warthog, which isn't anything special. It's been in the game since the game came out. Um, you can easily get it, you know, by spending half a million credits in the auction house if you don't want to do this but all you have to do this weekend is five different head-to-heads so the best method for this is what I did was jump on the highway and I went up and down the highway just challenging likewise uh, competitors like SUVs and stuff because you have to use a Jeep to this so make sure you jump in the Jeep I'm using the SRT Cherokee it's not it's bone stock so it's not crazy fast but it's one of the fastest Jeeps you can get and when I'm racing against Escalades and stuff, you can always win. One thing you don't want to do is don't race like crazy cars. If it is bone stock, uh, don't race cars like Ferraris or anything because you're just wasting your time because most likely you'll lose unless you want to hit them into a tree or hit them into traffic and stuff. But I found it was just simple to go up and down the highway, nice and quick, and you can bang out five within like five to 10 minutes, not even. This truck was actually um, pretty quick, <laughs> but it crashed there, so I was pretty happy with that. And then a big pile up there as well. I don't know what's going on with these drivers, but as you can see at the bottom, a notification will pop up when you do win it. So most of you have probably already seen this vehicle, but I'll jump into it. As you can see, I have two, um, so I didn't really need it, but I just wanted to do it so I can show you guys how to do it. I'm going to jump into this and show you, even though you've already seen it, uh, some people haven't, and it's it's kind of based off Halo, I believe, the Halo Warthogs, which is pretty cool that they incorporated it in this game, and it's a beast off-road and stuff, so I'll do a circle around it, some jerry cans on the back, which is pretty cool. I don't think you can upgrade it much, like you can change the color and that's about it, but we'll go ahead, we'll jump into... Actually, we'll check out the front. Not much opens on, actually nothing opens on it, in fact, but the interior is kind of cool because it's wide open and it's it's really like beast. Like it looks badass, so. 
So we'll jump out of this and basically we'll move on to number three, which is uh, for the Gurkha. Now this was available earlier as well, uh, maybe a couple couple months ago, a month or two ago, you were able to get it through a Forza-thon, but basically for this one, what you have to do is you have to accumulate 20 different Wrecking Ball skills. And the best way I found was to go down here to where you can cause a lot of destruction. Get yourself like a fast, like small car as well, but cause a lot of destruction over here because there's a bunch of different trees that you can just run through. And as you'll be able to see in the orange at the top, see how it says Wrecking Ball there? You basically have to do that 20 different times. I don't know the exact like science to it on how, why you get them and stuff. Uh, but all I know is if you continue to run through the trees, you'll keep getting them somehow, and then eventually you'll win. So I kind of, I just kind of sped it up and all the way to the end, where I do, in fact, get 20 of them. And as you can see on the bottom there, I did win the Gurkha. So again, some of you have probably seen it. I actually had two, um, but once I found out that you were able to win it again this weekend, I decided to sell mine uh, before a crazy amount of them are out there because the value of it was high. I got a million dollars for it and if you get it this weekend, probably after this weekend you'll get next to nothing, you know, a hundred, two hundred thousand for it because there will be so many on the market and so many around. So that's the same thing with which is what happened to the Lycan Hypersport this weekend. Like it, it was originally a 3.2 million dollar car, you couldn't really get it for under that. And now that they gave it away for free on the weekend basically, now it's dropped like a rock. Like you can get them for like 500k, 600k, and it's a 3 million dollar car, so. Now this truck is also a beast, like it's a tank on wheels. I did a little spin there for you guys to see and basically just interior shots but it's based off of like a high-end truck like through the ford line i think it's like a ford f400 500 something in that range it's based off of um but also a beast nothing opens besides two front doors which is unfortunate but with that being said we'll move on to number four which is very simple and basically it just gives you three wheel spins you can win some cool cars or a little bit of money but what you want to do is you want to uh, do a bucket list in that area. That was Cobber uh, Place or whatever. Just so you are aware where the gas station is up at the very top. Uh, Carver Petty, that's what it's called. Now what I did was I just created a bucket list challenge that ended there. It was nice and short, like very to the point. Um, I wasn't exactly sure what they meant by having the bucket list end there. So I just kind of went on a limb and tested this out and it worked. I didn't pick the greatest car to do it with because it's very slow. But I mean, it only took me 33 seconds to do it. Um, so yeah, just create a bucket list there. Um, I'm sure there's one already, but as you can see, I won at the very bottom. So now I'm jumping into my wheel spins. And again, I don't win a lot. That's kind of crap getting 2000. But I did win over a hundred grand, which is kind of cool. I got 70 there and 30 here and then 4,000 at the very beginning so as you can see everything's done all four of them are done and uh, it didn't really take long at all so I got myself three brand new cars and a hundred grand and I'm happy so I just wanted to show you guys and share that with you hope you guys enjoyed and it's only for this weekend of February 3rd to 5th um, so if you guys see this video but you can't get on the only way you'll get the cars is through the auction house, but hopefully if you do see this, you can jump on really quick and, you know, within an hour, get yourself three pretty cool cars and some money as well. So thanks guys for watching and there'll be a few more videos this week. So make sure to stay tuned, subscribe because we've been killing it with subscribers. We're almost at 500, which is amazing because two weeks ago we were at 26 or 32. So thank you guys so much. Give the video a like, a big thumbs up, and comment down below uh, any videos that you guys want to see in the future. And stay tuned for extra videos coming out this week about what's happening in February with Forza. So have a great night, guys. See ya.